Heavenly Father and the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for giving uh, this wonderful opportunity to discuss uh, his wonderful words of life. <clears throat> we bring uh, love and greetings uh, from many brethren uh, all over uh, Karnataka. Uh, it's good uh, that we see that uh, you've all uh, begun uh, your volume study. So, last few weeks, uh, brethren have taken the introduction and uh, I read a few paragraphs from the volume. Uh, so today we'll be continuing uh, the same. Uh, and uh, today we're going to continue from uh, page 10, paragraph 3. Page 10 and paragraph uh, 3. Uh, so can anybody uh, read from the screen or from the book you have? Any of the brothers or sisters? Yes. Since skepticism is real, the very foundation of true religion and the foundation of truth is question of them, even by the sincere. We have endeavored to uncover enough of the foundation upon which all faith should be filled, the word of God, to give confidence, assurance in each testimony, even to the unbeliever. And we have endeavored to do this in the manner that the world will appear to and can be accepted by reason as a foundation. Then we have endeavored to be reason as a to be built upon that foundation, the teaching of scripture in such a manner that so far as possible, purely human judgment may try its squares and angles by the most exacting rules of justice which it can command. Thank you, dear Thank sister. Uh, dear brothers uh, uh, in Christ, uh, uh, we all know about the first volume. Uh, last week, uh, I think Brother Rick has uh, covered many of the points. Uh, the purpose uh, of this volume, and especially the purpose of writing this first chapter, is to bring to light why this volume is being presented uh, to the whole world. It is to prove that scriptures uh, is the main foundation of faith uh, of all the Christians. So, it is to bring to understanding that the word of God is very important. Okay. Uh, now, uh, I would like to ask the Solomon brethren, uh, Solomon Island brethren. So, what's your thought on this uh, paragraph? Yeah. yeah. This paragraph speaks about the true foundation which faith should be built on is the word of God. And also the word of God gives us assurance and confidence about the testament of Jesus Christ, even to the unbelievers. Or also we have to build upon the foundation the teaching of the scripture. Because the scripture revealed to us harmonizes and beautiful plan of God. Very true, sister, very true. So the question on this paragraph is, what is the foundation of true, all true religion? See, the very foundation of all true religion is, first of all, you see, uh, whatever it may be. So, whenever a truth is spoken about religion, when it is... Uh, quite different than what the people believe, the first thing that comes to everybody's mind is a question about uh, the truth. Like for example, we all have taken the basic classes in a systematic way. We have read uh, some of the lessons uh, which are quite different from what the people believe in churchianity today. Like for example, 
the doctrine of uh, you see soul you see the bible clearly tells uh, that soul uh, dies the soul is not immortal and this is what the scriptures tells clearly but uh, if this thought this truth is presented to others the first thing is that they get in the mind is uh, you see a doubt a question about this truth how is this possible how can this be because the whole world believes that soul is immortal soul never dies so as soon as a man dies he either goes to hell or either he goes to heaven see this is the very foundation of a uh, you see religion everything is always questioned you see even by the sincere you see definitely when first time you would have heard you also would have got lot of questions in your mind you see even i did get you see when i first learned the truth nearly around 24 uh, years before you see uh, i was very happy to listen to this truth but again you see what was there a question was there in our mind here in this volume you see many such doctrines are uh, try to be uncovered you see and how brother russell has tried to uncover it if you see he has tried to uncover it clearly from the foundation from the scriptures which is the basis of our faith you see now sometimes you see when we are listening to the, some of the classes which are quite different which are all together you see uh, different and uh, uh, diverse way from uh, the faith of the christians today you see we would wonder how is this possible is really that the soul uh, dies or is really hell a, a dead condition is it really the condition of the dead is not that is a place of torment we would hesitate to believe but uh, you see when it was shown from the scriptures uh, clearly that uh, hades sheol tartaro gehenna what all actually it means from the bible how various ways it has been translated dear brethren it is very very clear it is so clear that uh, we don't get uh, any doubts there is no opportunity to get any for the doubts therefore it says you see the testimony given here is very clear such that even a unbeliever can believe it and uh, the efforts of brother is to reason you see from the scriptures you see and he has built every you see doctrine upon the scriptures and uh, the method of presentation is so clear you see that uh, you see we can really get that conviction yes this is the truth and there is no deviation in that one now let me ask a question to you all brethren there you see so what was your reaction when you heard the the basic classes like for example i gave about uh, hell or maybe soul or maybe antichrist or maybe trinity what was your reaction when you heard the truth yes brother good morning good morning brother yeah i think uh, what uh, what we understand is uh, like uh, from the scripture uh, i think the first thing to question is uh, what is religion 
and uh, what is that religions that word uh, religion uh, gives us uh, a point that we can understand what is religion and what is the scripture so i think religion is a man's way to god and uh, scripture is a uh, god, god's way to 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 man very good that's true uh, because the scriptures is the basis of foundation upon which we build our uh, faith and that faith uh, today is termed uh, as a religion very good so i hope uh, even uh, when you were all uh, listening to the basic classes uh, you also would have got lot of questions isn't it yes yes so when brother clarified your questions uh, on what basis did he clarify all your doubts and questions sir like uh, nominal christians and like a nominal churches that's what we said that, no uh, our brother jacob when he took the sorry. classes to you he cleared all your questions and answered all your questions on basis of what how did he answer the questions sir did he answer from uh, outside the scriptures or did he answer from the scriptures from the scriptures yes sister that is what this paragraph is telling each and every point each and every truth is tried to be proved from the scriptures and the scriptures are the main basis of our faith see whatever it might be whatever the truth it might be though it may be totally different we try to accept it because the bible says so let me give you an example now can sisters preach in a church if i ask this question what will be your reply no, no. yes very good but do you have uh, any churches in solomon island where the sisters are allowed to preach yes yes, yes. okay let me ask one more question did the church where you went earlier did they allow the sisters to preach there no 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 this is very good this is very good but <clears throat> majority of the churches in the whole world sisters are allowed to teach but how did he accept that the sisters are not allowed they are forbidden to preach it is only upon the bible correct now yes is, yes yes so that is the efforts uh, in this volume each and everything is tried to be proven from the scriptures made very clear from the scriptures so that everybody you see might believe it you see even the judgment should give a proper conviction that yes this is true okay brother you are clear everybody yes, yes clear yes. okay now let us go to the next uh, paragraph uh, okay jacob brother yes brother anything yeah. you want to yeah. tell yeah yeah um i request all to participate uh, if anyone want to uh, find tune some of the uh, messages in this passage uh, please let them and uh, so if uh, i want to add up uh, i want to just i want also participate and this this want to explain something or uh, fine tuning something or fine tuning it is just adding a test to this so here uh, what i understood is the skepticism the skepticism is called a disbelief so this is a big challenge of the true religion and as well as the most holy faith that is called the truth here in this book the author the brother russell he aims to reveal the foundation 
that means the most holy faith built upon you built yourself upon the most holy faith that verse is there right so uh, he he wants to uh, instill confidence even to the unbelievers that's what uh, i am understanding in this then he gives the reasonable approach and uh, uh, he allows anyone who reads this let them judge let them judge uh, this book whether it is from the uh, most holy faith it is based on most holy faith or not it is from the scripture or not like uh, he is just openly challenging that's what i understood in this story thank you brother thank you jacob brother very clear okay uh, anybody has got any comments okay shall we go to the next paragraph Oh, brother, uh, uh, sister, please. Skepticism. It is the one of the reef, like a mountain. Doubtless, it is a mountain for us. When we have the faith, that mountain also can be a uh, break off. So that is the faith we will get when we have the uh, scriptures, when we read. we will get the doubt all doubts will be clear that is the reason i feel we are getting the uh, basics we have to be sort out all the religions which one is a correct one so we are coming to that truth which made us the doubts all clear that i feel brother thank you sister so that's how uh, we all have come to the truth uh, because uh, what we believe today uh, what we have studied uh, from the basic classes uh, is uh, totally different from what uh, today the whole christian world believes but yet uh, today we are all in the truth uh, why because uh, of our uh, faith on the scriptures and how each and every thing is been proved from the scriptures thank you anybody any other comments okay now we shall go to the next paragraph uh, page 11 first paragraph can anybody read from the screen read from screen yes read from screen believing that the scripture reveals a consistency and harmonizes plan which when seen must command itself to every sanctified conscience this work is published in the hope of assisting students of the word of god by suggesting lines of thought which harmonize with each other and with the inspired word those who recognize the bible as the revelation of god's plan and such we specially address will doubtless agree that if inspired of god its teaching must when taken as a whole reveal a plan harmonizes and consistent with its shell and with the character of its divine order our object as truth seekers should be to obtain the complete harmonizes whole of god's revealed plan and this god's as god's children we have reason to expect seeds it is promised that the scripture of truth shall guide us into all truth. john 16:13 thanks brother thank you sister so so what's your uh, opinion on this uh, paragraph anybody so what do you think brother uh, is trying to tell in this uh, paragraph any brother from the solomon island francis brother john brother yes brother i think what is trying to do here is to try to reveal the 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 scripture the, the pull out the, the with the definition of uh, what god is intended 
to do for humankind and uh, God's plan and purpose to be uh, uh, practiced on earth. And yeah, that's that's what uh, uh, the the scripture or the 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 paragraph talks about what uh, God, God's plan and purpose to be uh, uh, harmonized within within His divine plan. Very good, brother. That is a uh, that is exactly what. Uh, our brother is trying to uh, bring the picture here. So even if you read the question, uh, the question also says like this, uh, should we expect uh, the divinely provided foundation for our faith to be harmonious with reason and justice? And what should be our object as truth seekers? You see, uh, the scriptures uh, are very clear. And it is very harmonious. Sir. You see, uh, if you take uh, some of the things that are mentioned in the Old Testament, that clearly harmonizes uh, with some of the things mentioned in the New Testament. Uh, so, like for example, um, before Jesus came at the first advent, what happened to all the people? All the faithful uh, people who walked in as per God's words, what happened to them after death? Like for example, Abraham, Moses, David, Elia, Enoch, Daniel. So where did they all go? Did they all go to heaven? No. Very good. So, where is it given that they are they did not go to heaven? They might be in the paradise. Okay. Now, where is it given that they did not go to heaven? Or uh, ah, tell sister, correct. Under God's authority. Ah, yes. On what authority? On the authority of the scriptures. Let us read John 3:13. Can kindly someone read John 3.13? John 3.13 3, 13 says, yeah. no, no one, one, this is the Jesus speaking, no one has ascended to heaven but he who comes down from heaven, that is the Son of Man who is in heaven. Very good. See, this scripture clears the very, very important question. What happened to all the faithful dead? They never went to heaven. They never went to any other place. The Bible clearly says... That no man has ascended to heaven. So this is the harmonious of the scriptures. The Old Testament giving clarity along with the New Testament about God's plan of the ages. See, we all have studied about the beautiful plan of the ages. We all know about uh, Jesus' uh, second coming and his kingdom that is going to be established on this earth. The purpose of establishing his kingdom on earth is mainly to resurrect all the dead, bring them back to life on the same earth and give them the knowledge of truth. So, where are all the dead? If you put this question, you see, the Bible is the only thing that gives us the very clarity that they are all dead, they are all in the grave. Let us read one more verse, John 5.28. John 5.28. John 5.28. The woman then left her 
what the port no 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 john 528 gospel of john authority do not marvel at this for the hour is come coming in which all who are in the graves will hear his voice very good so here jesus gives where are all the dead you see where are all the dead what did jesus say in the grave very good sister so that is the place where all the dead are resting in peace now what about paradise you see the thief went to paradise you see brother has cleared very clearly in the basic class that uh, paradise uh, means what you see the thief never went to paradise on the very same day you see because jesus died and was in the grave for 3 days so he was resurrected only on the third day so how can jesus make a false promise to the thief that today you shall be with me in paradise we have studied that one there is a punctuation mark that is put in a other way jesus actually was trying to tell to the thief that today verily verily i say unto you today today i am telling you you shall be with me in paradise what is this paradise some uh, many of the christians believe that uh, there is a place as you go to heaven before going to heaven there is a intermediate place that is called as paradise all the dead all the some not good people are, will be there and later on judgment will happen they will go to you see heaven or hell but let us see what the bible says the bible should be very clear what is the meaning of paradise uh read revelation 27 can somebody read revelation 27 revelation 27 he who has an ear let him hear what the spirit says to the churches to him who overcomes i will give to it from the tree of life which is in the midst of the paradise of god mm you see the tree of life in the midst of paradise of ha huh? what was there in the paradise in the middle of paradise what was there life tree of life ah tree of life was there in paradise now you tell me was there any tree of life earlier than this one is any tree of life mentioned in the bible when man was created yeah during the adam and eve very good brother let us read that verse genesis uh, first chapter sorry genesis second chapter verse uh, 9 and out of the ground the lord god made every tree grow that it pleasant to the sight and good for food the tree of life was also in the midst of the garden ah the tree of life also in the middle of garden so as per the bible paradise is a beautiful garden edenic condition so jesus was trying to tell to the thief when the whole world will become like a paradise when his kingdom is been established he will be given some special favor so this is how we organize the scriptures here a little there a little search the scriptures none shall miss or meet this is what our brother is trying to tell in this paragraph believing that the scriptures reveal a harmonious plan you see 
when seen, must uh, commend itself to every sanctified conscience. When each and everything is proven from the scriptures, it should be very clear and very convincing to the holy mind. And that's what our brother Russell clearly says, uh, the purpose of publishing this book, you see, to assist a student uh, to properly study the word of God. How do we study the word of God? How do we study the Bible? Uh, you see, the proper methodology to understand the scriptures uh, point by point, uh, you see, is uh, made very clear through this volume. Therefore, uh, it uh, he says, uh, you see, uh, each and every thought, each and every suggestion, you see, is uh, accompanied with the uh, Bible. You see, just now we, we saw an example. Just what we saw was an example of what actually happens to the dead. You see, about all the people were mentioned in the Old Testament. Where are they? If you put this question, you see, if you seek the answer from the world, it's totally different. But when you go through the Bible, you see, which is our authority, that gives a different picture altogether. And uh, you see, and those who recognize the Bible as God's revelation, you see, uh, are really satisfied. So we, we are all in the truth. We are all satisfied. Why? Because uh, each and everything is very clear, you see, from the Bible. And this uh, harmonizes uh, and gives testimony about uh, our God and about his character. Uh, therefore, uh, let us read one more scripture. John 16, 13. John 16, 13. John, Gospel of John, chapter 16, verse 13. Can somebody read it? 16, verse 13. However, when, when He, the Spirit of truth, has come, He will guide you into all truth. Very good. He will speak on His own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak and he will tell you things to come. Very good, brother. So he will guide you into all truth. The main purpose of God giving the Holy Spirit to God's children is to bring them to the understanding of the truth. Okay, very good. Thank you. Has anybody got any comments? Any views? Uh, we can kindly share. Yes, uh, continue, sister. No, you continue. Okay, yeah, brother. Uh, just a uh, comment here. Uh, and there may be a question as well. If you can uh, clarify the the garden in the midst of the garden, the tree of life is it the symbolic or a uh, literal? Okay. So in the garden of Eden, when Adam was created, it was a literal garden, isn't it? It was, it was a garden and they were there physically. Correct, no brother? Yes, yes, yes. And that tree of life was the trees that is to give the sustenance of life. The trees which had some medicinal value. You see, these trees were in the garden of Eden. So, similarly, when in Revelation the same thing is promised to the church, it actually means 
the church will be given eternal life not literally the tree but the what was the purpose of the tree you see the life the life the tree was giving life so the church here is promised that if they are faithful they will be given eternal life you see the immortal life to, to rule with jesus thank hope you, it is clear thank yes. you thank you Yes, because of him, yes, sorry, sorry, just a comment. Uh, because God put the uh, two trees in the garden so that uh, Adam and Eve can make a choice, the tree of life and the tree of death. But the time they chose the tree of death, and the death come in our life, our humanity, so that the revelation is coming back and revealed. The scripture from the revelation that if we continue uh, endure, then we can have the tree of life again. That's right, brother. Yeah, very good, sir. That's what uh, the adversary devil uh, tried to deceive uh, Adam and Eve to eat the forbidden fruit. You see, hence disobedience, and uh, because of it, the death came into the world. But if you are obedient. God is going to, you see, return back that life, and that's what is promised to the faithful church. Very true, sister. Thank you. Anybody? Anybody? Any comments? Jacob, sir, please. Yes, brother. Thank you. Uh, so, in this uh, paragraph, what uh, I understood here. Is this volume is purely based on the most holy right? Uh, it assists the students who is eagerly reading the Bible, who is eagerly understand the Bible. So this is a purpose. Uh, what he the Russell uh, mentioned here. So these uh, uh, things it is totally in harmonized. So, a consistent and harmonious uh, things are there. Then everything, everything, whatever the scripture is there, it is inspired by the uh, Holy Spirit. So, all the truth seekers, so they need the guidance of Holy Spirit. So, uh, when we pray for that and we always keep that Holy Spirit. So this will bring us uh, harmonious into the uh, most holy faith. That's what I understood. Then uh, about a uh, lot of things uh, brethren were discussed. Uh, so I have no other uh, uh, queries on that. It's all okay about paradise, about uh, life, uh, the tree of life and, uh, and the tree of good and evil. So all things are discussed. So when uh, it was in the the tree of life was in the garden, uh, they missed it uh, after a while. Then God destroyed the garden. Then again, we have some other uh, subjects coming up with uh, like alive again. So whenever the resurrection happens, the fruit of the tree of life will be gifted to them. That will be. It dealt in the future subjects. That's what I want to just uh, I want to tell this with respect to the revelation subjects. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you, dear brother. Anybody? Any other comments, uh, sister uh, Usha? Yes, brother. Um, when all the points is covered, only one thing I will say, brother: sanctified and conscience. So it will be when we are having a, a truth with us, with the Holy Spirit, we can sanctify ourselves. When we sanctify, we can be have the consent. Sanctify, we are uh, away of the sin. When we have a truth, we will be uh, changing our character every day. When we are changing our character, we will get the consent. There's nothing but we can identify which is a good, which, which is right, which is wrong, and we can identify it. So we can lead the life 
to have the eternal life. That is my point, brother. Thank you, sir. That is very true. Because Jesus said in John 17, 17, that uh, sanctify them uh, by thy word. Sanctify means to make them holy, to make them pure, to make them very clear. Is it uh, So, Jesus continues to tell in that verse that uh, thy word is truth. So, if somebody can have a, a sanctified mind or conscience, it is only based uh, upon the scriptures. We are going to have a clear and a a holy mind only if you have faith uh, on the word of God. And as you said, you see, uh, the truth uh, is given to the matured ones. Uh, that's what uh, we read uh, in Hebrews 5th chapter, last few verses. Uh, you see, 12 and few verses, uh, it says, uh, The strong meat uh, is for them who have their conscience uh, properly tuned. You see, we were able to discern that which is uh, from the good and bad. So, this is the, how the strong meat is given to God's people. We also read uh, where the dead bodies are, there the vultures will gather. So This is our dead body, this is our food. You see, the dead body is the food for the vulture. So, similarly, the word of God, that is the food for the new creature. And like the eagle, they travel, take risk, a lot of risk has been taken, you see, to understand this truth. That is what uh, our, uh, you see, Brother Russell uh, is trying to bring the picture here, saying that uh, uh, the authentication of this uh, volume uh, is mainly based uh, on the most holy faith, the word of God. Thank you, everybody. Uh, any other comments uh, or shall we end the study here? Jacob, shall we end the study here? Yes, yes. Okay, thank you, dear brother. Mm -hmm. uh, as uh, I need to travel, I will be uh, just uh, moving. So, thank you very much.